Hi, I'm Liam Dan, here for the launch of the New Zealand Herald's annual Mood of the Boardroom survey, taking the pulse of business, the opinions of all the top board members and CEOs in this country. With me I have Finance Minister and Acting Prime Minister Grant Robertson. Mood of the boardroom, it does seem pretty grim, this mood right now. What, what, what do you make of that and why? Oh look, 2022 has been tough. I mean, this is the year where the pandemic's hit the hardest in New Zealand in many ways because we've had a lot of people sick, a lot of people absent. You combine that with the massive global inflation spike that we're feeling. People are looking around the world, they see the war in Ukraine, they see the tension between the US and China and that impacts on people's mood and how they're feeling. So I can understand why people are, are feeling a little dark about the world at the moment. I guess my response to that would be if you look at any country in the world, New Zealand would be one of the best positioned to deal with a world that looks like that. I mean, the immigration reset that we put in place only came into force at the end of July. So we've just had a couple of months of that being in operation. And already we're seeing you know, more than 25,000 working holiday visas approved. We've got the accredited employer scheme running now. There's about 48,000 jobs related to that that are now being processed. So we are getting there. Now that's also a tough situation because the world's looking for talent, just as New Zealand is. But we are getting there and obviously we made those tough decisions about the border. I think they were the right decisions for our health and our economy. But now, yeah, for sure, we need people coming in and the system has been changed to make that easier. I think if you look anywhere in the world, governments that have to govern through a big inflation spike, through a big cost of living pressures, off the back of two hard years, it's going to have an impact. What I think we've got to do is get on with the job of finishing the big reform programs that we've got, like the RMA, which I know people here want us to do, Three Waters, the health system, immigration, do that work, and then set our sights on that kind of medium term, higher wage, higher productivity economy, that, that deals with climate change and gives people that sense of economic security. So this is a tough time. I recognise that whether it's a business audience or a community audience, we've got to earn the right to be in government every single day and we'll just keep working at that. Okay, and yeah, just, just finally, I mean, you know, policy choices aside, there is concern about execution. Mm -hmm. um, some things that haven't come to fruition, maybe, maybe obviously we've had a pandemic and, and mm. that's set things back. Can people expect to see uh, you know, more runs on the board, I guess, in the next year? Yeah, of course. And um, let's take an example like the Resource Management Act. I mean, that's reforming one of the biggest and most significant bits of our legislative and regulatory framework around how we plan and live. That was never going to be able to happen overnight, but those bits of legislation, the two core bits of that, will be passed before the election. And so we're making good progress on that. We were affected by COVID just like everybody else was. And so, you know, I, I recognise we all want to get on with it and that's what we're doing. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.